feels a bit like um, the railway children. <laughs> the railway children. Ah. Hi guys, just a short one this week. No Farm Friday for you because I haven't put my footage together, but I've just walked the Drake's Trail um, Yelverton to Tavistock and back. So here's a bit of footage for you to enjoy. It's a lovely walk. If you're ever in the Plymouth area, I totally recommend that you do this. Bye. I'm staying the weekend with my grandmother and she lives in Yelverton, which is also on Dartmoor. You can see Chase behind me there. He's having a really good time. He hasn't done a walk like this before. So normally, obviously, we're on the moor and it's just like going along sheep's trails and wherever we can find a, find a nice place to kind of travel along. And today we're doing an actual walk. Chase isn't the best with people and bikes. He thinks that his space is his territory wherever he is and he can get a bit rattled by lots of other people around. When he gets near to them, he's very friendly. He just wants to cuddle everybody. But when it's people who are a bit unsure about dogs and then there's this apparently very vicious dog barking at them, they can get a bit unhappy. So we're having a learning experience this morning. <laughs> it's a Sunday morning and there's not very many people out yet because it's quite early. I am just documenting Chase's first weekend away from home. <laughs> Look at this guys, isn't it gorgeous? I don't know what bridge this is, but it's really, really pretty. Look, if I go up here, you can see it better. So we're going to walk down to the river because I think Mr. Boy is a bit thirsty and I don't have a water receptacle for him. So we're walking down here. I'm hoping I don't have to go across the, uh, the river in my sandals, but we shall see. <laughs> um, this is the Drake's Trail that I'm walking along. So it's a trail that goes from Plymouth to Tavistock and it's an old railway. It's really nice. If you're ever in this area, I totally, totally recommend trying it out. I'm going to make... I'm going to make Chase cross the river. <laughs> he doesn't really like water over much. Come on! Good boy, we're going across. Okay? Yeah? We're going across. Come on! Good boy. Oh. Ha! You guys, this water is freezing. Oh, my legs are numb. Come on, good boy, good boy. Oh my goodness gracious me. Well you've managed that, I'm very impressed boy. Here's the answer to what bridge it is. <laughs> you can see it just over there. Um, it's the Gem Bridge and apparently the original Walkham Viaduct was designed by Kingdom Isambard Brunel and these um, stones here are the original braces for it I guess and this bridge opened in 2012 I imagine they probably got rid of it because of safety or whatever I don't imagine they would demolish something of Brunel's lightly here's the next landmark <laughs> a tunnel Right guys, we've officially reached Tavistock. Um, I'm not going to go in. We're going to turn around and walk back. I don't know if we're going to walk all the way back to Grand's. Um, we'll probably go to where she dropped us off and then call her to come pick us up. Because <laughs> I don't know how much more walking Chase can stand, but we have been at least an hour so far. So um, yeah, there's this little blue sign up here is a road crossing. So I don't want to have to put him on the lead. So we're going to turn around now. Come on, pal. Go on, go on. I thought I would do a little video of going through the tunnel. It's quite long. Go on. Thank <laughs> you. 
take Ready? me. We'll do a walk across the gem bridge as well. <laughs> I don't know what Chase will think of this. We used to have a dog that did not enjoy going on non-solid ground. <laughs> Seems fairly happy. Hopefully he doesn't decide to take a little slither underneath the barrier. <laughs> <laughs> 